Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. And this video is a little bit different because uh, today I want to offer a unsolicited, very important unsolicited video uh, testimonial to um, a company called Just Not Fair. It's headed by a guy called Moshe Fold. And I'm gonna tell you a little uh, fun story about my uh, Corona experience of having a flight canceled. And I've waited so long to say this for legal reasons. I can't spill all the details. I can't tell you guys the name of the airline or I can't say even the name of the destination because if uh, I did, my little uh, small legal victory in getting my flight ticket uh, refunded will result in a large legal defeat of a defamation lawsuit. So we don't want that to happen. That would be financially reckless to, uh, to do that. So I'm gonna unfortunately have to be a little bit sparse with the details. And just to say that again, to reiterate, no one asked me to make this video. I told Moshe I was going to make a video completely out of my own volition because those of us living in Israel, we have dealt with plenty of good companies and bum companies, frankly, and service providers. And when you encounter somebody who's really decent, honest, and committed to uh, providing good service, um, I always try to uh, spread the good word or spread the word, I should probably say, to not sound, uh, not sound too evangelical. So this is my attempt to do so for Moshe and his team at Just Not Fair, because I think they are a great a great team. So firstly, this is their website is justnotfair.com, and it's um, a company that helps people to get compensation for delayed or canceled flights, amongst other things. I, I'm on their website now. I assume Moshe has a good sense of humor because they're, uh, they're, they're, I'm just going to read a little bit of their text from their website. It says, Just Not Fair was founded to help the airlines get in touch with their deep-seated desire to treat their passengers fairly and promptly compensate passengers when and as required by law. So after this experience, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling that deep-seated desire, I must say, on the part of this airline to uh, treat me fairly or be anything but absolutely horrible to deal with. But thankfully, I had Moshe and his team on my side uh, to make some headway. So uh, let me, um, so that's what they do. They do uh, flight cancellation claims, flight delay claims, luggage claims, personal injury claims. Moshe is based in Israel. So I guess he's especially relevant or that's his client base. I don't know. I think he deals with people from other countries as well. But in any event, uh, whatever people say about these uh, lawyers who help you get compensated for flight claims, I found Moshe nothing but a pleasure to deal with. Okay, here's my sketchy story. I mean, sketchy because I have to not include details for legal reasons. A number of years ago, when I got married, um, at my after my wedding, somebody bought me a uh, voucher for an airline, a gift voucher to use on flights. So this was, um, then COVID happened and, you know, COVID was going on, whatever. And um, just before the expiration date of this voucher, when, you know, the airport in Israel started opening up, um, I said, okay, let's book a flight. The us being my wife and I. So we booked our flight to a European destination. And again, I can't say which because that would uh, spec that would be pretty much the same thing as specifying the airline in this case. So we booked our ticket to a European uh, destination. And we were very excited about our upcoming trip to this destination. And then we received an email out of the blue a couple of months before uh, the flight. Fortunately, we hadn't booked our accommodation because that would have... Uh, been uh, even more of uh, inconvenience and it said your flights your flights cancelled and I said oh why wow, that's weird I've never got a and I don't it didn't specify the reason the airline was still flying to this airport uh, so I don't think it was COVID related maybe it was in any event I'm like well that's a bummer um, so I get in contact with their customer support um, and I'm like okay so uh, here is my ticket you guys cancel the flight these are the vouchers that I used to pay with the flights. Are you going to like reissue the vouchers? And basically they refused to reissue the vouchers. The cost of our airfare was like vouchers plus like 10 bucks or something like trivial. So I they refunded the like $8 to my credit card, but they, refu they refused to refund the vouchers. I had a feeling this was kind of crummy behavior because when you pay for something, even if it is Corona, you can't just like not honor your gift vouchers. But at the same time, I wasn't going to do anything about it. I told this story to a friend who had used Moshe as uh, he came over to us for dinner one night. And he said, you have to get in touch. It's worth getting in touch with uh, Moshe. Tell him your story. So I did. And he 
uh, on my behalf helped me to file a claim, a legal claim in Israel for the value of the gift vouchers that the airline refused to refund. Now, I am pretty organized. I had I had done all my sort of like evidence collection. I had screenshots, even videos of the live chat conversations and sort of even the airline even was, uh, I would say, dumb enough to write me an email saying, we agree to refund you eight dollars. A gift voucher refund zero dollars so it was kind of like black and white um so anyway so moshe and his team uh the lady working with them um helped me to file a claim in the small claims court which when it's in israel is difficult i've actually done it once before um and he reassured me that he provided great advice even though this was a non-israeli airline that it was possible to sue them locally for uh for uh the airfare plus uh plus a little bit of damages um so he got the ball rolling and that set so then the airline's legal representative called me like i don't know a few weeks after we filed motion in the small claims court saying and their they, their line is like oh it was such a it was a complete mistake and a total oversight which i do not believe at all um i literally hounded them about this for you know the best part of six months and no one offered a refund until just after we filed the lawsuit so this is uh, if you're dealing with airlines uh, particularly the ones with worse reputations for customer service just know what kind of a fight you're in for and i won't i can't i shouldn't uh share the rest of the details about this but it took a lot it took a little bit more uh, hand wringing but moshe was there every step of the way to provide advice as to what to do and this culminated in us getting our um getting our money back essentially the gift vouchers refunded in cash the airline insisting until the end that there was a, some kind of a human error that went on and that was why but again i don't personally believe this for uh even half a second so anyway i had a great experience dealing with just not fair um the website i'll put a link to it in the description it's just not fair f-a-r-e it's a play on words dot com uh motion his team are great to deal with and if you have been for want of a better word screwed over by an airline who are using covid as an excuse not to uh, offer you your statute statutorily required compensation whether that's under eu law or whether uh, whether just under uh, national law then it's definitely worth reaching out to them through their website super responsive uh super easy to deal with and i had a good experience and i got my money back in the end so there you go guys uh, don't take it lying down from uh, from uh, crummy airlines and uh, reach out to Moshe and his team and you will not regret it. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon.